This fucking homeless keeps parking next to me. That's one of the one things I dislike about living in the car. Hold on guys, bear with me. So you're trying to make a video in some fucking fart knocker fucking parks right next to you. All right. Greetings everyone, it's Kane here. Welcome to my video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how people are absolutely toxic. Which is why I love to be alone. No one could tell me otherwise. Really and truly. No, I'm just here to tell you in the, today's video, man. People are absolutely fucking toxic. It's so mind boggling and it's very quite sad how the majority of humans, just young people too, that just, okay, man, I'm up. Just run to escape routes, just are weak. People are fucking weak. You know, I under, I empathize and I understand, but God damn, and it has a true effect on me. Now, I'm a very positive person, charismatic, and, you know, I have a good daily routine. But uh, in life, guys, you know, whether work, um, family, any situation, you are forced to be around people. <laughs> you can't escape it. And uh, you're going to have to play your cards right, you know, keep your mouth shut. Bite your tongue at times and, you know, uh, you got to do what you got to do. But let me tell you, if someone keeps rambling about the same dysfunctional nonsense, like when you get to know someone, it only takes like 15 to 30 minutes max to get to know that person. Really. If you talk more than that, just rambling about dysfunctional bullshit, then then there's something fucking wrong with you. You have a lot of dysfunction and a lot of unbalanced things going on in your personal life. Whether you're not getting enough pussy, whether you're not satisfied with your overall not content, being content, you're not. Um, having healthy habits taking care of your physical and mental health having a good daily routine overall they will ramble about the same weird dysfunctional nonsense now a lot of you empathize you know they you understand me and you have to deal with this and I, I don't know. Um, am I being too too snazzy? No, I just feel like I belong somewhere where there there are people who are motivated and just inspired daily and inspire others. I I don't know why. I just feel like I'm surrounded by dog shit. I don't know. Am I just being an asshole? I don't know. But uh, if you guys can relate to me, leave a comment. Respect those that comment the most. Just making my daily videos, putting content for you guys. The, these toxic people, guys, are going to have an effect on you. No matter what. No matter how strong and positive your energy is. No matter if <laughs> you're an elitist living by the beach in a palace. Uh, people are toxic and their energy will affect you no matter how positive you are you know just their daily habits and how they perceive life and how they carry themselves around has an energy has a aurora has an aura to it and it will linger on to you if you are forced to be around that person like i said whether a job situation or uh family um
Yeah, uh, people just like to talk about nonsense. I, I don't know what the fuck people like to talk about. So like they, they literally like to ramble about drugs and uh, bullshit that doesn't matter. The fucking, I don't know. I just see life like a, to me, I think they see life as just a, like a, I don't know <laughs> how to describe it. I'm just rambling, you know. They don't really see life as to trying to be content every day in this madness, in this dysfunctional, tyrannical market system we live in. Try to be content, try to be develop uh, healthy habits so you could live in harmony with nature and be at peace with yourself. You know, you could, you carry a sense of pride, like, um, how can I say this? Superiority, like you carry uh, the light in the dark. This such confidence, such beauty that it is unfathomable. I don't know. That, that's how I like to. That's how I like to live. You know, not trying to impress anyone, but to just. Well, I guess in a way, impress. Everyone wants to get compliments all in all, and everyone wants to be attractive, and everyone wants to look the best as they possibly can. But what I'm talking about is like such the change. It's like when you see an absolutely gorgeous dime, a woman, and they carry this aura, this power, this this confidence, this otherworldly, not otherworldly, but just it changes your, your mindset. Like nothing else matters. Like you just want to focus on that person and what they do. And, you know, um, mentally and physically, a lot of people don't get that feeling anymore because, <laughs> uh, majority of humans are overweight or living in dysfunction, clogging up the sewer lines have unhealthy routine regimen uh, I don't know yeah this is kind of a downer video I apologize you know not all my videos are positive I, I have videos of all kinds I've been pumping out a few drama videos lately that I didn't really want to do but I'm switching it up I'm trying to build my subscriber base and bump up my channel because you can't do the same thing over and over you know uh I mean, I could have with the abandoned places and probably grew my channel skyrocketed, but I get bored easily and I like to keep it spontaneous. I like to change things up, you know, which is why I like made videos about vegan gains and um, the liver king and yeah, whatever. I'm just having fun with it, talking to the world through my cell phone. I enjoy it. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, uh, don't let toxic people affect you fully because they will eventually in time but just let them be a minor uh you know just continue with your daily routine keep on swimming through the bullshit and developing your emotional sexual and spiritual health and living in harmony with nature being balanced with the yin and yang with heaven and earth uh yeah this world's just so unpredictable and such it's just a mind-boggling world we live in you could go ape shit I'm telling you right now but uh like I said just swim through the bullshit there's no exact science to life. There are no accidents and there are no guarantees. 
And there is no good or bad news. It's just news. Uh, I'm about to hit the gym. I just had my breakfast. I'm going to hit arms and then hit some cardio and then go to work. I'm telling you, man, I've, I've been, I've been on a roll ever since I've been living in my car. I just been motivated and such. There's such a good feeling in living in a car. I don't know why it just gets you going. You want to go to the gym. You want to be doing things. You want to be outdoor dashing. You want to be making money because when you're in a big house, it just gets dull fast when you're around people. I don't know in the winter time though. I'm probably going to be miserable in the winter time, which is why I'm after I pay off my my car, I'm probably going to look at getting a studio apartment or I don't know. If I have enough money, I'll probably save up for a home base. We shall see though. Uh, it's a big decision. Like I said, I don't even know if I want to be in Colorado. I don't know. I don't know about anything, which makes me truly intelligent. Not knowing is true knowledge. Thinking you know is a disease. Yeah, uh, this is not directly personally to anyone or anything, um, anyone specifically in this video. I'm, I'm just saying it how it is, how I feel. I don't know, my my energy is just very sensitive to people. I'm very aware with everything. Hell, when there was a Walmart shooting, I was, I could have survived if there was like a major disaster and that guy wanted to just kill as many people as possible. I would have survived. You know, I'm very sharp, aware. It's just, I'm also good at reading people. I can read people good. I'm telling you, I could obviously tell and with your body language, your eyes, the eyes never lie of if you, like me or don't, if you are content or unbalanced. I mean, we all have bad and good days. But uh, once you go down the dark path, it's very hard to come out of it. it. Really is. Like Yoda said, you know, um, it will dominate your destiny on this physical world. If you go down too deeply down the dark path. Uh Be the light in the dark, guys. I absolutely love these handles here. I love this car, how it has these. Every time I wake up in the morning, I like to stretch and just pull myself up, and that's such a good feeling. Oh, uh, yeah, like I said, making my money, hitting the gym, working on my health, trying to gain some strength, and internally help my heart, help my lungs, be optimal and fully functional and to be content you know it's always healthy to get blood flowing and it's my high that's my release is going to the gym it's the healthiest release escape is hitting the gym having protected sex and eating, whether it's a Slurpee, you know, a uh, little cheats. That's honestly the ways I cope, those three. Now I've seen the majority, of, I'm getting so many calls. The majority of people stick to shrooms in this day, opium, um, marijuana they're alcoholics drugs and alcohol are the biggest ones pretty much everywhere you go and overeating 
Those are the three the majority of Americans do. I want you guys to stick with the gym, having protected sex, and controlling your eating habits, but splurging, you know, have a Slurpee, have a some cookies, you know, don't be too tied down to your diet. You know, people who are aesthetic, shredded, the better word for it, they are very unbalanced mentally. It's not good to have that low body fat because that triggers low sex drive. Okay, that's this is for a whole nother video. I'm rambling now. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna hit the gym, go about my day. Uh, daily videos. I'm gonna try to keep doing it. It's fun. And yeah, subscribe. I appreciate it. Almost at 6K. I thank you all. I say it how it is so you don't have to. And I'm bringing you guys along in my life. I live a very simple life. I love my life. To some, it's a disaster. You know, a vegan living in a car uh, that's, I don't know. I guess that's the only two people look down on me on <laughs> is vegan and living in a car and not making six figures, I guess. You know, I'm a true example where you could just live a simple life and you could be content, be happy. You know, uh, nothing's perfect. I do have downs. I am, not to get too personal, but I do have a lot of addictions. Whether it's womanizing and And, uh, I don't know, it's just natural, I guess. It's natural and being a male is to have this drive. Like I have, sometimes I just, I'm a womanizer, but I also have a lot of, sometimes I get like a lot of anger, like so much anger where I just wanna, uh, I need to punch a punching bag. Like I need to punch something or, um, I don't know. Like if I get in road rage or something, like I am, it's, I, I'm good at controlling myself, but it's very, like, I get so pissed over something dumb, you know, I don't know. Is that, it hasn't happened in a while. It's just, now I'm rambling. All right, everyone, leave a comment. Respect those who comment the most.